Hello Capricorn, welcome on my channel, Triple Three Tarot. We're going to do your bonus December 2023 tarot reading and prediction. It's going to be a general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. What's happening, who's coming, keep an open mind. You can book a personal reading, everything is given in description box. You can reach out to me if you want to. Link is given below. Of my Instagram, you can reach out to me there. You can also follow me on, you can reach out to me on my email address for more personal reading details and all that stuff. Sun, Moon, Rising in Capricorn, you can buy this reading and you can switch energies if you're a cross-watcher. Now let's see what's happening for you, what's next and who is coming. Five of Cups. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. You could be missing someone from your past. Or you could be missing an old friend. Or there is someone who is from your past is missing you thinking about you right now. Could be something with the kids, children, childhood. Like missing friends, missing someone, like a friend. I don't know. A lot of you Capricorns in isolation right now. I can see that. You could be even healing your... You could be in, even in the process of healing your um, inner child. Moving from something. Moving on from something. Definitely moving on from something. That's That was painful. You could be even moving on from giving life or giving people another chance. You have been lonely. You have been in isolation, uh, Capricorn. You could be even feeling right now or thinking about the past or memories or... You may be even feeling left out in the cold. Some of you, you could be going through unrequited love. You could be in an uh, in, um, unrequited love situation or you dealt with in the past. So you're definitely moving on from that situation. Yeah, four of swords, healing. It's an autumn. There's something about releasing. And I'm also seeing the mountains. So it's about, it was... It is challenging for you to move on from this situation. Some of you definitely in, in isolation. Maybe you, you guys could be far away from your family, far away from your friends, or far away from someone. You're definitely missing and thinking about someone. But it's like in an isolation autumn, leaving the, something behind, leaving the past behind, going through some type of a big changes or healing. You're on a pause. You're on a break. Some of you, you need a rest because you could be continuously moving or working hard. But I also feel some of you, you are mentally or let's say emotionally drained right now because you're giving someone too much that who's not giving you back. It's unrequited love here. Yeah, Eight of Cups, look, I think you're moving on. Ace of Cups, yes, you're giving this love to yourself. Hmm. Some of you, you could be on a retreat. Look at this. Five of Cups, Four of Swords, and Eight of Cups. Walking away from people who are not serving you. Walking away from situation. In a isolation. Not talking to anyone. It's about soul searching. You're definitely on a soul searching. The Eight of Cups, yeah. And the moon, full moon, yeah. It's, it's about letting your old self go. Letting the past go. And healing yourself. Yeah, it's, it's like exploring yourself. Exploring the world. Discovering yourself. Yeah, it's, it's like definitely isolating from the people so you can discover yourself. Or you may be on a journey somewhere. You want to go somewhere, far, far. Chasing your dreams, I'm also hearing. You're chasing your dream. But some of you, it's like, I'm hearing, it's always, you know, lonely on the top. So some of you, you could be already on some type of a top here, but you're feeling lonely. You feel like there's nobody that you can count on. You can trust or you can be there with someone. But it's been like it's it's been a long journey that you have been lonely or you have been in isolation. Some of you Capricorn, you have been on isolation for a long time. So there is something universe is definitely offering you as of cups. Either this is this person is already in your life or about to enter in your life. But love is coming with the ace of cup. But you could be also giving this love to yourself. Self-love, self-care. It's like walking away from people with a six of swords, choosing to walk away, choosing to move on, choosing to Choosing happiness, choosing healing, that's what you're doing. Now, some of you with the Six of Swords and Ace of Cups is about, could be, uh, it's about new place, new environment, and you're excited about it. You could be even about to create something new and fresh um, that's going to heal you, your inner child, or are going to heal you. But I also like, it's like Ace of Cups is like, the love is coming. 
seven of pentacles like it's worth it whoever this is this new person is like universe is giving you another chance to move on or walk on from someone now because of the past experience i think you're going to take it slow with this person or this person is could be yeah i think you're walking away from something or someone it's time to move forward capricorn it's time to look ahead in your journey some of you you could be moving one place to another either it's physically okay and but i'm also seeing mentally you're definitely leaving a lot of things behind that's not serving you you're finally seeing who is who who is your own people but i think it's like lonely on the top like you think there's nobody for you but i think it's of cups it's like love is coming oh yeah the strength now this could be even someone you already have eyes on with a strength card and seven of pentacles you know this person is giving you the strength maybe to move forward in your life and walk away from something that's not serving you now seven of pentacles and strength also talking about you have been working on this for a long time this could be even a project here that you have been working on for a long time and finally you're going to get the success or this opportunity to make it happen now this could be even a relationship that you have eyes on this is someone who has eyes on you for some of for a lot of time and finally they're gonna find this courage and strength to speak up to let you know about their feelings this is like a new opportunity in love like you definitely have eyes on each other or you have eyes on this person or they have eyes on you i don't know but there's someone is like seeing the perfect match like they think oh this person is worth it but it's about moving on yeah they could be leo they have a leo placements this person could be an animal lover but they could there could be a distance between you and this person with the eight of cups and six of swords but there is a requirement of a lot of things to need let go of the past hmm. could be leo could be even a uh, air sign or earth sign that you're dealing with but we also have a water energy we will see hmm. it's definitely gonna need oh yeah ten of swords yeah some of you it's about maybe marriage you could be coming coming out of a divorce or separation and and there's definitely ending here now, this could be even walking away from something that you have been hurt and betrayed in the past. Now, this is someone who's definitely going to be cautious to open up to you because they have been betrayed, cheated, left out in the cold or hurt in the past. A lot. A lot. This is divorce energy. This person could be coming out of divorce or separation or they have been in isolation and lonely forever. Like this person's journey is alone all the way. Now the love is in front of them. They're going to take it slow. They're, they're not going to believe it because it's, it's like they're going to, they see that it's, there is a potential, there's a worth in this connection, but you either you're going to take it slow with this person because you don't want to experience that or this person going to take it slow. To open up to you but there is it's like two people are coming together it's like you both could be going through the same experience because there's something about ch children here either you have a children or this person is a single parent or they are divorcee or they have a kids involved or your kids will be you will have kids with this person in the future there's something about your inner child also going to connect with this person a lot here you go king of pentacle that's you Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that's you. You're definitely... Hmm. You're ready. You're te ready to maybe... It could be you're in a deep thoughts or deep thinking. The King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Like how it's going to work. How you're going to offer this person a love. Or this person could be thinking about a lot. How to approach you. How to tell you it's look like you both have eyes on each other i don't know i'm keep seeing these two people like two people who have eyes on each other two people who want to be with each other but they both have a trust issues like who gonna make the first move who gonna confess the first you know or who will come the first and you definitely have with the king of pentacles this person in your mind now some of you you're starting your business and this is going to definitely flourish in the future blossom in the future or you have been working on some project here and you will be successful here yeah, it's something it's something new here eight of swords yeah you don't see this love coming or you have no idea if you can trust this person or not maybe this person is not opening up to you they're not vulnerable with you they're not expressive that much so you're waiting for this person to open up you're waiting for this person to express you're waiting for this person to come forward there's a stuck energy here stagnant energy between you and this person but i think finally things are going to move forward
Page of Swords, yeah. Finally, I think there's something. Yeah, Ten of Wands. There's a communication problem here between you and this person. I can strongly see the Ten of Wands. Someone is feeling so much burden to talk to you, to communicate with you, to express their feelings. Page of Swords. There's definitely stalking going on here. This person could be checking on you on social media, watching you from afar. You both could be seeing each other, watching each other. But it's like, but I think with the Page of Swords and Ace of Cups, finally, there is a, some type of a communication, a message, or confession coming. Maybe you don't see it coming, but it's going to happen. It's, it's, oh, death. This is someone that, oh my, this person, the hermit, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, you could be dealing with this type of people. These already signs, yeah. This could be when someone who left you out in the cold, they ghosted you. Yeah, this is someone who ghosted you with the Ten of Swords and ending, beginning. Endings are always new beginnings, right? So this is someone who ghosted you. They left you out in the cold and wanting to reach out with a new beginning. But it's going to be up to you because this person is afraid how you're going to react. Now, vice versa. Another thing here is I told you for those people who are coming out of a divorce, separation, are leaving something behind, toxic. You have been in isolation for a long time, Capricorn. And you don't want to trust anyone because you got betrayed in the past. You got hurt in the past. And it's really difficult for you to now with the Ten of Wands to open up. But this person definitely is like, they have eyes on you or they're melting your heart with the Ace of Cups. Like this is someone who's going to open your heart again for love. We have the light and we have the cup. So it's definitely talking about someone who's going to melt your heart again. This is like a new love, I strongly feel. It's like a new opportunity in love. Someone is here. They want to talk. So maybe they're waiting for you to communicate with them, to confess them, and things will move forward between you and this person. But I strongly feel the communication is coming. At least... This person is melting your heart, Capricorn, even though you, you come off like very strong, alone, do not have a trust on anyone. This person is going to melt your heart, I think. The way they're going to talk, the way they're going to give you this unconditional love or care or respect, you need it. You may be already, This is someone who maybe have eyes on you already. I think they have it. And they think you're worth it. So they're waiting for you or they want to communicate with you. It's like this person sees the potential with you, future with you. They think they can trust you. Yeah, this person is watching your pictures. They're reminiscing the past. If this is someone past, okay, or they want to make the memories with you. This is, ah, oh, I told you. This is a confession coming from someone. They like you. They're going to open up. But it's not easy for this person. It's a very big challenge for this person to trust love again, to trust anybody or they could be one watching you, observing you. Like, if they can trust you or not, I think they are. They're going to trust it. This person wants to date you. They're going to be, it's a fun flirting. They're going to express their feelings. Or they maybe indirectly did it, but it's like you don't see the, this offer coming or confession coming from this person. I'm feeling this person is going to break their silence. Yeah, this could be when a runner, um, but they don't want to run away anymore. Yeah, falling in love. So some of you, you maybe have someone from the past who's watching you, are seeing you, or you have a new person here. I think this person is falling in love. Yeah, they, they have been heartbroken. They are sad. This person betrayed in the love in the past. Or they thought that, okay, some of you, you feel heartbroken because this person ran away from you without even saying to you or confessing to you or they left you out in the cold. But... Heart with the key. This person wants to explain things. They want to meet you. They have a lot of passion and desire for you. It looks like they cannot escape from it. They cannot run away from you. They cannot run away from this love. So they're coming. Just get ready, I think. You're about to get this confession. Because there's something about you. You're melting this person's heart. You have the key to this person's heart. You make them soft. It's like, our, our, this, is, this is you, Capricorn. You make this person soft. So they're going to confess their feelings to you. Because they have a lot of passion and desire for you. They cannot run away from it anymore. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.